How do you know what the greatest treasure of human history is? You ascribe a monetary value to it, of course. Some artifacts may appear priceless, but at an antique auction house, everything has a price. By this metric, it is possible to know which antiques the free market has decided are the most valuable treasures of all. 10. Napoleon's Gold Encrusted Sword, $6,500,000 at Osanat in France. This antique is the golden sword used by Napoleon Bonaparte in the Battle of Marengo in 1800, the surprise attack that forced the Austrians out of Italy. It was also used during Napoleon's campaign in Egypt. It was sold in June 2007. Nine, Germain Royal Soup Terrine, ten million two hundred eighty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. At Sotheby's, New York, the Soup Terrine antique was designed for French King Louis XV by silversmith Thomas Germain. Starting in 1723, Germain served as the Orfèvre du Roi, silversmith of the king, and became renowned for his Rococo style. The lid depicts the makings of the meal with vegetables, shellfish, and birds. The handles are shaped like boars' heads, and the feet resemble the feet of wild hogs. It is believed to be one of the few remaining silver soup tureens of this era, thus its value. Kevin Tierney, the head of silver at Sotheby's, described the tureen as an object steeped in history survived the melts ordered to pay for the Seven Years' War and the French Revolution. Just collecting Germain, 20s and 17. It was sold in 1996 to an anonymous buyer. 8. The Goddard Townsend Antique Secretary Desk, 12,100,000th at Christie's in New York. This antique was handcrafted by a Quaker cabinet maker in 1760. The desk is 112 inches, 2.8 meters tall, and made out of mahogany. Goddard is largely credited with developing the block front design, a minimalist look that is quintessentially America. This antique is thought to be only one of nine Goddard desks in existence. It was purchased in 1989 and remains to this day the highest price paid for a piece of American antique furniture. 7. Princess Catherine Henkel, Emerald, and Diamond Tiara, $12.1 million, Sotheby's, Geneva. Embellished with 11 rare Colombian emeralds, the tiara of the German Princess Catherine Henkel is over 500 carats. Legend has it that the emeralds were once part of a necklace worn by a Maharaja. It was commissioned by her husband, Prince Guido Henkel von Donnersmark. Later, it was worn by the true wife of Emperor Napoleon III, Eugenie de Montijo, full name, Doña Maria Eugenia Ignacia Agustina de Palafox y Kirkpatrick, 16th Countess of Teba, 15th Marchioness of Ardales. It was sold at auction in May 2000. Six, pink enameled blue and white porcelain moon flask. Sixteen million dollars at J.J. Lally and Cobras in New York. Crafted sometime between 1736 and 1795, this antique artistically combines pink enamel with blue and white porcelain. The Qianlong six-character mark allows experts to date the piece to the 16th century Qianlong dynasty period. The flask is considered a moon flask because of its rounded body. It features a flaming pearl and two phoenixes. The handles are of the dragon scroll design, and the mouth of the flask is ringed with a ruyai band, a Chinese talisman that symbolizes power and good fortune. It was sold at auction in November 1987. Five, a life and battle horn, 16.1 million at a private auction in Scandinavia. This fully functioning battle horn 
is made from an elephant's tusk and intricately carved with motifs of animals of the hunt, including rabbits, ducks, and deer. It is one of only six such ornamentally carved oliphant instruments still in existence. The most famous oliphant horn was the one that played a key role in the Song of Roland. The oliphant antique was crafted during the 11th century. 